Okay, you know when you're a kid and you want to emulate everything cool people do? Yeah, Tim Fallon was that for me. Considering every musical piece I've learned from him has just been a beep after boo boo after beep. Though, learning about this dude's life was very interesting to say the least. Seeing what musical influences has inspired him, how he did his own work, and his start was making music for games. Alright, I'm hyped up for this, you're already here, let's get it on. Tim Fallon was born on December 12, 1970 in St. Helens, Maryside, England. His brother Mike was working on a game and he was like, Hey bro, can you help me out with this game I'm working on? Tim was like, Yeah, sure, what do I gotta do? Nothing too big, just make some music. That doesn't sound so hard. What the fuck? Dude, where are the sheet music? All I see are numbers. Nah, dude, it's, it's cool. I'll, I'll teach you how to do it. Never mind you, he is 16. And he has no formal music experience as well. The most Tim had was pretty much studying at Liverpool Sandown Music College, but he dropped out after a year. Since Tim was more or less working with code, he was pretty much looking at numbers all the time with his work. Is that the Matrix? Yeah. Do you always look at it and code it? You get used to it. It wasn't really wieldy to use, and more or less the program he was working with was a specific unique console called Spectrum. He states, it was very difficult to compose tunes for it, basically because if you played high notes, the lower ones went flat, so you had to adjust all the other notes all the time. Every so many cycles of the loop, I'd jump out to change notes and things. To keep the speed up, it used self-modifying code, which meant that the main loop could just have simple commands like set h to 110, while the code outside the main loop changed the code inside the main loop by writing over it with the new values. The only drawback was that it sounded like a vacuum cleaner with nails stuck in it. And then with these limitations, this is what he came up with. And thus, a legacy was born. After Mike made his game, he and Tim were then hired by a game company called Software Creations. This is where Tim really started to make his name known. Also, I forgot, Tim has his other brother, Jeff Fallen, who was also working there. Yeah, this is starting to be like a Bach slash Mozart family sort of deal. Tim then starts composing really cool stuff for the NES, most notably games like Silver Surfer, Solstice, and Pictionary. Tim was also influenced by a lot of progressive rock, and I don't blame him, it kicks ass. Tim was a really big fan of Genesis, Jethro Toll, and Yes, and they definitely left a lasting influence on his music with the use of virtuosic melodies and folk tune sounding stuff in his works. Later on, Tim would also credit Led Zeppelin, Vangelis, and Black Sabbath as influences for his NES work. One thing Tim said during an interview, listening to some Vangelis recently made me realize just how much influence he had on me too. He was making the sort of electronic music I grew up with probably fragments of all the records you ever listen to end up in what you write. And when I saw that, as a musician, it makes so much sense. Every piece of music you've ever heard, every concert, every performance you ever really played does reflect off of you. Like some sort of anime flashback where you're about to just give you the giganto Greer uh, uh, You know what I mean. Tim Fallon was just a really good chiptune composer, but he never really wanted to be known as a really good chiptune composer in the first place. The money he was getting for his work was good, but it wasn't never enough, which really limited his listener base. And this was in the mid-90s, so he couldn't be like, yo bro, check my SoundCloud. Tim saw himself as more of a composer, if anything, and that does shine through his work. It's been around 30 years since he started his career in making music, and he's still around, honestly. His most recent work was a game on Steam called Contradiction, an FMB game which he helped work on himself. Tim Fallon is a very influential composer when it comes to games, so I hope you learned something from this. I'm not going to give you guys a full deep bio on composers I like, but I hope these little petri dishes, like these little samples, are good for you guys. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. K okay, love you. Bye! Yes, hello. I was wondering if you could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? The one that goes... No, man, you're thinking of...